in our layer manager, in our maps file section, you'll now notice that Drummel Access now supports DWG. So just like your DXS, you can toggle between an actual background map that's visible but not selectable and visible and selectable. And you can also turn on and off the various layers. Another feature that uh, uh, is associated with our background is that of adjusting the actual background image itself. Now, in this example, I'm just going to zoom in so that you see it. We have an entire subdivision. Now, from A to B, we know that this plan actually needs to be scaled. So if I click on A to B, and I hold down my stylus on my screen, in computer inverse, you'll see that the distance here is 78 meters. However, we need this entire plan instead to be shifted to A prime to B prime, which is 100 meters. So that should be scaled and also shift. To apply this shift or transformation, head to on our background map, head to the menu icon, head to Kogo, head to adjust, and head to georeference map. Now, it asks us to create a peer necessary for us to actually apply a shift file. So we're going to tap on a point here, and it says DWG1. We're going to tap on a point here. It's going to say DWG2. And we're going to tap no on the points we wish to move to, which is A prime and B prime. And you're seeing the actual associated arrows that shows the shift. Tap calc. And you're going to see a dialog box that shows the actual scale that is applied, the rotational factor, and also it's showing us that shift that has been applied. So the delta northings and the delta eastings. And that's how simple it is for us to actually know do a georeferencing of our map. These are two new macro map features that we've been waiting for, and it's finally here in Trimble Access. <laughs>